Hey, Sneak and back again today. Today we have the latest version of NTX. Now, back in the day, it used to be based off Mepis, and then Mepis changed its base very recently, and now we are Debian based. So, this is the latest pre release release, not the latest super release, because that'll be a few more days or weeks, but it's as good as you're going to get for the next week or two, okay? Unless he's got something up his sleeve that I don't know about. So, as you can see, it's rocks based with ICE Windows Manager, which is very fast, very quick, very super duper, and that's what I like to see. On the desktop, all we have is files. Okay, so that's rocks window, rocks uh, file manager there. Windows Manager, what I'm talking about. Your browser, which for me, we have Ice Weasel, which is unbranded Mozilla, by the way, as you should know by now. For music, it oh, looks like XWMS. Yes, it's XWMS. Not my favorite. You can install whatever one you want to. For video, we get a new M player. You get determine all of here, here and here. So NTX is there. And we get Word Up. And Word Up is the full Libra Office suite. Yes, the full Libra Office suite. All of it in there sticking in with NTX, which is very unusual. It's version 3.4.6. That's super of the duper. I like it. Nice. Remember, it's based on WM, Sid, and Wheezy. A bit of both. A bit of smattering, a bit of good, and a bit of bad. You know what I'm saying? Okay. On your bottom taskbar, here we have a little arrow. Now, all that does is go to ting and remove your taskbar. Obviously, you can get it to auto hide if you want to. You get your time, you get your volume. You get the four workspaces, but you know you can have as many as you like. We have a shutdown icon, we have a mount icon. Now, if you're having trouble doing stuff, say you're using it in VirtualBox or you've got a CD you want to mount, it will not auto mount. You have to put it in and plug the drive in, if you know what I'm saying. Yes, you do. We get the control center, which is very new in NTX, as you can see. So you can choose your wallpaper. So if I quickly click there, we'll see what we got. Well, that's all we got for now. Is there any more? Let's have a look. No, 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 no. That's all we got for now. Yeah, never mind. No more options. Okay. We'll close that. Never mind. Edit your Fluxbox settings. Edit your system monitor. Change GTK2 and icon themes. Edit ICE Windows Manager settings because you get a Win uh, JWN and Fluxbox with it. I forgot to tell you about that, didn't I? And get all that. Okay, while in the control center, we get the system. You can manage your packages, which is Synaptic Package Manager. You can configure your system, lovely. We'll go to network. You can do your network stuff there. I'm not going to go too deep into it, there's no point really. It's not a full release, and not too many people use it. Although, I think that a lot of you should try it because you would really like it. Yes, you would. Under live, you can remaster it. So that's very good. You can set up persistence if you're doing it to a USB, remaster it completely, or save root persistence. Either one you want to do. Partition your drive, mount connected devices, back up your system, image your partition, synchronize directories, and NTX to USB. And you can also set up your hardware. So system information is there. Set up your printer, configure your sound, your PC information, configure your mouse, eek eek, and adjust your mixer. Okay, that's all right. All right then. Now, to install stuff here, you use Synaptic, of course. So I thought I'd tell you that first before we go any further. Or you can use Terminal. It's up to you what you want to do. So in your menu, you get Terminal, File Manager, Web Browser, Editor, Screenshot, which is a rather good little utility, actually. We'll just take a quick screenshot. We'll quickly go OK. And within about four or five seconds, we should have a nice little photograph. And there we are. We took a nice little screenshot. We'll make that bigger. There you go. Well, not too big, was it? But hey, you can make it bigger if you want to. So do we want to keep that? No, we don't, because I'm just showing you how it goes, baby. Oh, how it goes. Back to our menu. OK, we get applications. Right. Now, this is where sometimes NTX gets a bit confused, but there's plenty here for you to play with for your small download. It's not a very big download at all, by the way. You get your iCarve manager. Love it. You get Jot's Jotter leaf pad. Lucky backup. Was that mean you like going to Argos, is that? Or a betting shop. You don't know what you're going to get. Midnight Commander. Parcel Light. Rocks Terminal. Search Monkey is there too. Space FM File Search. Speed Crunch. Crunching, crunching, crunching. Games. You get quite a few in there. DOSBox Emulator for doing DOS games. You can put plenty of emulators on if you want to. Obviously, where you get the ROMs from is up to you, but you know, don't break in the law, if you know what I'm saying. But under graphics, I have installed Blender. Now, it's not the most current super duper duper Blender, but it does what it says on the tin when it decides to open. Does it not get open? No, we'll try that again, shall we? we go down to applications, we'll go to graphics, we'll click on Blender. No, it's thinking about it. No, it doesn't want to open. So that's one little problem I've found. So you probably have to open it in the terminal. I know it works because for a simple reason, 
You know why? Because I've installed OpenShot as well. Anyway, extra under graphics. There's no Gimpy. You will need to add that yourself, but it is in the repos of Synaptic. Okay. Get Mirage and MT Paint, a presentation section, screenshot, Scribus I've also installed. I was just checking out Synaptic to make sure all the stuff worked in NTX, really. There's a lot of these Debian ones coming out at the moment now, because people are changing their mind on doing things. So, yeah, Scribus worked. It's the older version, but, yeah, it's Debian, so that's why it's stable. Okay. Do we just keep on graphics? Yeah, no, that would be enough for that, really. Under Internet, right, as you can see, I've also installed Chromium. I think everything works very fine, lovely. Chrome Web Store, don't want to go there? Not really, no, come out of there. But yes, Chromium works super fine. As you can see, you've got Conky up here. It tells you how many CPUs doing. The amount of RAM I'm using, which is 85.6 at the moment. I've got a bit of a RAM hog somewhere online, don't know what that is. I use a Nanomish swap and it's 78 processes. Okay, I was installed by the way, so not live CD. Anyway, where was I? Yes. Mm, I'm going to go down to Sound and Video, okay? Asunder is here for doing your ripping because you've done rippy, rippy, rippy for ribbon, okay? Lovely. I've also installed Rhythm Box, okay? I did, yes. Couldn't help myself, because it's lovely job. It's my favourite music player. Right, well, it's the old style Rhythm Box, but it does what it says on the tin. Yes, you can add a graphical equaliser for it if you wish to do so, but that's an add-on, okay? Okay, back to sound and video again for me. Yeah, you know I like it. Okay, I've also installed Open Shot, yes. Now, I've also have to install Blender on top of this. You will have to put the free 0R add-on plugins for it as well to work all correctly. I've done it all for you, so I know it works. So if we do a new animated title, for instance, and we just go down to, say, that one there. When I click on Refresh, everything should be hunky-dory, okay? Five, four, three, two, one, and there it is. Now, if you if you have a problem and there's something missing, normally Blender is missing, you'll get a thing saying you need Blender or you need some plugins to do some plugin stuff, okay? So, yeah. Open shot all works super duper of the fine. Yeah, baby. Okay, back to applications one more time. Right, sound and video, what we? Right, you also get Stream Tuner, which is nice. I'd like to listen to a bit of music and stuff, so that's super duper. The standard music manager is Goggles. Or oh, yeah, it's Goggles. I don't particularly like it, but hey, I'm only the messenger. Don't shoot me. We also get WinWFF, converting all your formats of multimedia stuff, which is nice too, isn't it? Say so yes. Don't argue with me. It is nice. Yes, I like it. Anyway, back to internet, because there's quite a bit there, and I missed quite a bit, didn't I? Apart from Ice Ape, which you get, or Ice Weasel, whatever you get, same thing, same difference. It's all the same, really. Okay, there's some differences, and there's some not. You also get Claws Mail, Dilo, and E Links. Why he keeps them in here, I don't know, but some of you like text based stuff. I don't know why. Yeah, I just don't know why. We've also got Transmission here, and Pigeon, and Links too. Oh my god, back in the day, back in the day, back in the day, back in the day. Okay, yeah. And the system tools, and take a snapshot, take a snapshot of your system, a GW package manager installer, well, installer package, yeah, thing music. HTOP as well. I don't really use HTOP because I've got Conky up in the corner. Space FM for doing that stuff. And a system profiler and benchmarker. And uh, preferences, I'm getting out of breath here. You will have to configure your firewall, by the way, I've got to tell you about that. Add a desktop, add a key, add a start, add, 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 add. NTX CC, 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 change the menus, G Parted is here, fireball configuration, keyboard mouse, check out all your stuff, multiple screens, blah 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 blah. It's like I can go on and on and on, couldn't I really when you think about it? It's all here. It took around about three and a half, four minutes to install, it's run super fine. The only thing that hasn't worked for me from the menu, by the way, from the menu, if I go to graphics again, Blender won't open. It thinks about it. But no, 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 it's just not going to do it, is it? So anyway, I'll keep, check that out anyway. NTX Pre, I like it. I can't wait for the new one to come out, the real one, because I've got a few machines for it to be installed on. Yes, I really have, yes. And it'll work super duper of the fine. And plus, it's now based on Debian. It's going to be more stable than a stable thing, isn't it? Yes. How much shall I give it? 92 out of 100. Lovely jubbly. Sneaky Linux going out. That's it, that is. Bye-bye.